All right. Okay, so we are now recording. Welcome everybody to our Monday uh, weekly treasure talk. This week we have some really special guests that I am so excited for them to share more about their stories and their experience. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Tish Mefford. I live in the Dallas, Texas area and I have been with Park Lane now for three years, but I like many others here at Park Lane, came with industry experience and I had 10 years of experience at a previous or at another direct sales company and um, and I decided to take the leap and join Park Lane a few years ago because once I learned about Park Lane and um, learned more about what they offer their customers, their hostesses and their stylists, I decided that if I was going to be dedicating another decade or two in this industry that I wanted to be able to offer the best and um, be with the best. So I'm super excited for several of our Treasure Tribe team members to share their stories today. I have one of our company VPs who happens to also be my sister, Christy Goodman, um, who is going to be introducing each of these um, amazing women. And I will tell you of the group of, is it six that we have, Christy, that are sharing today? Five, five are sharing, five are sharing um, of the five, Three came in through our direct appoint program. Two actually um, joined as a fashion director, our entry level position, but have worked their way up very quickly and joined us from another company, bringing experience that they had from their previous company. For those of you that are not familiar with our direct appoint program, um, or you're, you're like, what is that? It is a program with Park Lane that recognizes leadership experience. And Park Lane has the philosophy that just like corporate America, if you were to go from Pepsi to Coca-Cola and you had um, leadership experience and you were an executive position, that you would move from company A to company B in a very similar role, right? You would not go in as an entry-level person and have to work your way up. Park Lane feels it should be no different in this direct sales, in the direct sales industry. And they believe that um, once you have built and have experience with another company, have led an organization, have leadership experience, that of course they would want to honor that, recognize that, and um, bring you in at a comparable level. So there's all sorts of benefits that come along with that. We won't get into all that today. But I'm excited to pass this over to Christy, who's going to be um, sharing more and introducing these amazing women to all of you. Okay, first of all, we are going to start with um, area leader Elizabeth Baker, because Elizabeth actually has another job. Um, she works at a freshman center and has to get back to work. So we're going to start with Elizabeth. Um, Elizabeth, I got to find you on my screen. I'm sure you're going to pop up as soon as, as soon as, um, I stop talking. Um, but Elizabeth, where are, uh, first of all, I want to ask you, how did you get introduced to Park Lane Jewelry? Um, through an online party in July. I had really never heard of Park Lane or if I did, I didn't really pay attention, but it was in July, end of July. Okay. And um, had you ever had any industry experience before? I did. I um, was previously with another um, company and it was very different. It was cosmetics and it was primarily done on Facebook. So I kind of knew all of the tricks, if you will, like certain algorithms and that part wasn't new to me at all, but um, it was a lot of work. A lot of work, way and too so much work. <laughs> when I when I initially um, approached you um, because Elizabeth became a, a hostess, um, when I initially approached you about being a stylist, what were some of your your first thoughts? Um, absolutely not. Been there, <laughs> done that. But thank you. Um, I just I really felt like I didn't have time because. With the other company, they it was very much you need to post six times a day on your personal page, then you needed to post three times in your VIP page, then you needed to do and I there was just no way. And um, 
I, I did not want to be on my phone all the time on Facebook because I, I just didn't. That really kind of sucks the life out of you when you just are constantly on because that that's how you sold it is you had to be seen on Facebook. And so you that's why, that. yeah, me. with, no, I was just to say, cause that's why they recommended you posting so many times so you can just keep going. And you were having to come up with all of that content yourself. Oh, yes. Yes. So, okay. Oh, yes. So after we talked, what finally got you considering it? Well, I was very um, apprehensive and just thankfully you were very patient with me and you just kind of, okay, let's, let's talk through this. What about this do you think won't work? And I told you, well, I don't want to be on my phone all the time. I don't have time to be on my phone. Um, and you're like, well, it's, you show jewelry. If it's cute, they buy it. If it's not, they don't. I was like, okay. And, um, actually my friend that I went to the online party with in July, she works for the district as well. And she came in that very week and I was telling her, I was like, Oh, Christy, she goes, you do it. I'm like, no, 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 no. She goes, no, do it. I, you, this is made for you. I was like, uh, I don't know. And she goes, and she actually said, what have you got to lose? Well, I, nothing, I guess. So I was like, okay, why not? Let's see how this goes. Well, and I remember you being really pleased with the fact that uh, we as a company and as a team give you the content and you were like, okay, I can schedule it. I don't have to be live <laughs> on my phone constantly. Yes. Yeah. I knew within the first week, this was going to be unlike anything. Um, I was blown away within probably like the first two days. I was like, what? it's all given to me. Like it's, I don't, what? It just completely blew my mind. It blew my mind that once you promoted, you promoted, you didn't have to do it every single month. Cause that was another thing is that you got to a certain level and the next month you had to do it again in order to get the comp plan. And that's exhausting. Um, it's a lot of hard work when it, in addition to working full time. Yes. And so I'd love for you to share what has been your experience so far besides that. Share a little bit about your success and your experience. It has just been life changing. I am. Um, I'm going to be able to quit my full-time job in like one month and 31 days. Not that I'm <laughs> counting. <laughs> um, and I just, I truly never thought that this would be where I was because I tried so hard with the other company to really get a team and cause I wanted to do it and it, the programs just weren't there. And with Park Lane, they give you everything. You just have to apply what's out there. And I just, so, you know, being promoted and then earning the Mercedes club, earning a trip, it just like, it has truly been um, life-changing. Like I get teary eyed every time I think about it because um, I just never dreamed going to an online party in July would change the directory of where I am now. Never. Well, Elizabeth, we are so um, happy that you were here and we are very grateful for you sharing your experience um, and sharing how Park Lane has just been different than what you had before. It really um, has. Um, I'm going to be the peanut gallery here. I may pop in a couple times. And before you leave, Elizabeth, I just have to say you are a beautiful example of the talents was there. You had the same talent in your, with your previous experience, but often people will try this business and it's not because they're not capable or they don't have what it takes. It takes having winning programs that set stylists up for success. And it's what I, and many of us saw in Park Lane when we considered this opportunity is that they have programs here for 
a very busy person like yourself with a full-time job, or you can come in and you can start doing this business very quickly, earning income very quickly. And it's something that you can easily share with others and help others do the same. So I'm just so happy for you. Thank you. And I just have to say, just as a whole, the treasure tribe, I just, I feel so blessed to have found y'all because it just truly has been a blessing. And now I got to go back to work because I've got two minutes left. So (laughs) y'all have an amazing day. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Elizabeth. Okay, you guys, next up, we have got um, branch director, Regina Rozell, who lives in Houston, Texas. And Regina is on her way to an area promotion, area leader promotion within the company within um, no time. Um, But Regina as well comes to Park Lane with previous industry experience. So Regina, say hello. Howdy. (laughs) Hey. Uh, Regina actually joined us. When Regina, was it in November? Um, It was December 2nd. December 2nd. Okay. And share with everybody, how did you find out about Park Lane Jewelry? Okay, so um, Christy, I was in your VIP group for a while. Um, I, I want to say over a year. I'm not really sure. Um, and I went to how I got in there was I went to my friend's uh, jewelry party, and um, you know, Christy has her little post at the end. I, I placed an order, of course, um, but hop into my VIP. So I was just hanging out in there, and I would shop your social sales and. Um, I don't know. Like it was, it was fun. I loved the jewelry and I loved the sales and I liked being a customer. Okay. Tell us um, as well, a little bit about your previous industry experience. Yeah. What have you um, done? Okay. So I had, gosh, from 2016 to 2018, I was with another company and I had moderate um, success. The, um, the amount of time that I had put into um, building a team. I had a team of 31 people, uh, but I was, keep in mind, I did not do the direct appoint for Park Lane. Um, but during that time, I had a team of 31 people and um, that included you know, pe- people that I sponsored directly, but then also um, who they sponsored. And um, my sales were always, my personal sales were always really good. And it was always my mission to like be the leader of, of sales and for my team, you know, like I just, I wanted to set the example. Well, it was a lot of work. The systems were not in place. I was having to create my own systems. And then, um, and so just about the time when things, I almost got things on autopilot as far as like um, my uh, daily method of operations and um, shipping things out and, you know, all that stuff that you're trying to figure out on your own then the company changed the comp plan. And so um, it became sort of like the the cost benefit analysis just wasn't there for me to put in all of this time and not, um, I guess, not get paid for my efforts. So um, I I just, I resigned from that. I sort of faded it out and and transferred um, some customers, but, but whittled it out and then ultimately resigned. Um, I got into a health and wellness company, which was so much fun. I love their systems. I love their products. I still use their products, but um, I probably just am not the best brand ambassador because I don't work out (laughs) a lot, maybe twice a week. Um, I like my tacos. I like my margaritas. And so I just, yeah. So then I hopped over into a makeup. Okay, keep in mind, this is like from 2018 to 2019 or 2020. Ugh. Um, and then I went over to a makeup company, had a lot of fun with that. I was doing Facebook lives um, and it was really fun until like creepsters started popping on my lives and making comments. And I don't know, just like doing their best to try to, I think, I think this happens just in, in that world when you have public facing um, Facebook lives and and you're a woman, I think that, you know, there are creepsters out there who will try to bring you down or make you feel insecure or whatever. So it it became not fun. So I'm a realtor um, by day. That's, that's my day job. And real estate is fun. It's always been fun for me. And so when Christy asked me if, um, if I wanted to host a party, um, I was a little hesitant, um, but then she got me on the phone. 
And Christy, I'm probably moving into one of your next questions. Is That's it okay? Fine. Keep talking Go, girl. Um, okay. So Christy got me on the phone and I appreciated that oh. she was actually very direct. Um, she didn't waste time. She was very direct. And um, when she got me on the phone, I, I had a harder time saying no. And so that was one of the things that I took and, and I've applied it to my business now. Um, because when you get people on the phone, it's so much easier to say no via text. But on the phone, it's like, <laughs> you just get a lot of, yes, yes, okay, I'll do this. <laughs> and so um, so that's, that's, let me just share that with everybody. So get people on the phone. Um, where was I? Um, it's okay. I, yeah. You know what I want to know, Regina, why were you hesitant at first? Because mm. I know that you decided to book a party yeah. and, but we started talking about the business while we were doing that. And you decided, you know what, let's, let's kind of make this my decider show. We'll see, but if it goes well, but what, what, why were you hesitant? Well, I was hesitant, Christy, because I didn't, haven't really had success in a while. And the, the success that I had before, um, it was exhausting um, you know, to put in all that work and then get paid peanuts, um, to be quite frank. Um, but I was also afraid of failure. I didn't really want to go back into the party plan business um, again. Like I'm, I'm an introvert. And so it was, I, I was great posting and just being behind my screen, but to actually have to interact with people, like I'm just like, oh, I don't have the energy for that. So I was, I was hesitant about that. Um, and then just my past experience, um, it made me nervous. But you did a great job in uh, coaching me and just basically, uh, you know, helping me figure out, I don't really have anything to lose. I know Elizabeth said that. Um, I didn't have anything to lose. And if all else failed, then I got $500 in jewelry that I only paid a hundred bucks for. So, um, so really it was, it was sort of a no brainer, but then uh, if, things did work out, then I had everything to gain. I love network marketing. Um, I have an outside coach as well. And um, even, <laughs> even in my little floundering um, past businesses, I had my outside coach who, you know, continued to work with me. But, um, but I, I love the industry and I love the, I guess, the unlimited possibilities. You know, it's such a little cost to get into it. You know, such a little, uh, little investment and you have the possibility of such great, great rewards, great returns on that investment. And you know, Regina, one of the things I just remembered when we talked, you told me that you, we talked initially, you talked to your business coach and you called me back and she said, you, she wants me to ask you what kind of systems are in place because I don't have a ton of time. And how does your team support new stylists joining and so forth? So with that being said, I would love to know with your hesitations, your experience now, share what your experience has been. Okay, so um, my, the income that I've made uh, at Park Lane, February alone, okay, so I joined December 2nd, um, I have hit um, the first three levels of RRC every single month. Um, and so that is jewelry, like I love I love jewelry. I love nice things. Um, I like making money. That appeals to me, y'all. Um, so the income in February was the most that I've ever made in a single month in network. I think it was like probably the most I've ever made if you combined, uh, you know, all of the months in all of my companies. Um, but I'm also like, I, I love uh, travel. I, I love trips. And so I'm three fourths of the way to the Key West trips. I'm super excited about that. We love Key West. Um, so it's, it's a non-negotiable that, you know, I earned that. Um, the systems make it so easy. But one of the things that I did not plan on, um, which was a surprise, is how big my sphere would grow, even in just the three months that, that I've been with Park Lane. And I tell everyone, I'm like, oh, I joined last year um, when I'm doing my presentation to make it seem like I've been a part of Park Lane longer <laughs> than I really have. Um, but the, like now we're at the point where it's friends of friends of friends of friends. And, and I know that you know y'all probably are used to that, but it's super exciting and it's really fun. And so, and I tell you all the time, Christy, you know, as long as this stays fun for me, I'm in, I'm here because we're, we're having success. Um, and so that it's fun. And it, I, I love all of the ladies that I've 
gotten to meet and, and I've gotten to know that I never would have known otherwise. Regina, I love it. Thank you so much. Tish, does the peanut gallery have any questions? To have? I'm just over here. Like, I just want to be jumping up and down. Regina, <laughs> I love hearing your story. And I'm so happy that February was your biggest earning month in the history of you doing any, any sort of business in this industry. And I love that you were authentic and vulnerable and shared that you've tried, you've tried a handful of things and that this is, this is finally working for you. So you, the sky's the limit with you, girl, the fact that you're about to promote to area and you're only three months in, I mean, it's incredible. I know you're going to get that trip in Key West and the Mercedes and all the things. So huge congrats. Thanks, Regina. And y'all, she was really nervous and you did awesome. <laughs> um, okay. Next, um, I would love to introduce one of our newest directors, Miss Sarah Catherine Joseph. Um, hello, Miss Sarah Catherine. Um, Sarah Catherine actually is a neighbor of mine, lives outside the Dallas area where I live. And so I'm excited to, to introduce her. Sarah Catherine, would you explain a little bit about your background? Sure. So I have 16 years of direct selling experience before I started with Park Lane, and I'm actually still with my previous company. So it's a cosmetic company. I was um, a sales director for like 14 of those 16 years and life just happened at our house and our daughter has a booming cake business and I was overwhelmed with leading people. Like I had 75 team members and I was tired of, of dealing with that. And so I stepped down as a sales director and I think because I did that, my mind was a little bit open to something new. I just was okay with doing, hearing something new, I guess. I would have okay. never been open to that had I still been in that position. I can promise you that. So I'll share with all of you guys. So Sarah Catherine's been a friend of mine for several years and somebody I've always admired in this business. And when I considered the change, from a previous company um, that I was with for 10 years, I took her to lunch in confidence and, um, and asked her opinion. And she told me, you need to do this. Um, so she's been somebody that I've always, like a dream team member. So I went and did a party with Sarah Catherine. And I just have to share this part of the story. And an in-home party, my last in-home party before the pandemic hit, and she's like, girls, y'all have to see how much jewelry I, y'all want to see my, how I store my jewelry. And she comes out with these two giant hangers full of jewelry. And I'm thinking, this girl needs to sell jewelry. <laughs> but I was afraid to say something because she has this wonderful business before. So anyways, what were your initial thoughts when I approached you? Were you offended? Because I was afraid I would offend you. And did it come across as self-serving on my end? Because those were all my fears. Not at all. So I was flattered that you mentioned it. Um, I mean, I have been approached by lots of different companies to try to, you know, do other things. And um, I would have never considered anything other than makeup or jewelry <laughs> because those are my things. Um, so I was, I was super flattered that you even mentioned it, but my initial thought was I just stepped down from a position because I had too much on my plate. Like, why would I add anything new? And I have two teenage daughters and, um, Charlie Ann was like, um, you get $500 in jewelry. Hello, mom. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, why would you not try? And my husband kind of said the same thing. He was like, maybe this is something you need to try. Why not? You don't have anything to lose. You blow a hundred dollars all the time on stupid stuff. So, you know, so I was flattered. So, okay. So it, did you feel that you would need to quit your other company? Did you feel that um, you could do both kind of share a little bit about your thoughts in in joining while having another business? So quitting my previous company has never been an option because mm -hmm. I have 200 faithful customers that order hundreds or thousands of dollars a month from me because they put it on in the morning and they wash it off at night. So for me to walk away from that, not going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, 
but I was at the point where I wasn't wanting to continue to build that business any further. And with Park Lane, um, the way that I had watched Christy work this business, especially during the beginning of the pandemic, I mean, my mom hosted an online show. I had hosted, I think the week before we shut down or two weeks before we shut down the last week of February last year, I hosted in my home. And then I don't, I think I had two or three friends book Mm -hmm. from Chris, from my show in my home. And my mom ended up doing hers on zoom. And so anyways, after watching Christy do several zoom parties and different things, um, I realized that I could easily do both because I wasn't putting that effort into my cosmetic business anymore. So that kind of freed up that aspect of my day, I guess, you know. And I also remember you saying, had we not figured out this online platform, you were like, I could have never gone and done in-home parties with your schedule. I'm done with that. Yeah. (laughs) You've got too much other going on with the three kids and Mm -hmm. and other businesses. Um, Okay. So I would love for you to share um, a little bit about what your why is. And how has Park Lane fit into that? Okay, well, one of the things that um, intrigued me was not losing your position. Once once you um, achieve something in Park Lane, you stayed there because y'all heard me say I stepped down in my position. So I went from, you know, making a pretty good commission off my team members to half of that when I stepped down off my team. And so um, that was really cool an eye opening to me. And that's probably one of the main reasons I considered this is because I was a little bit humiliated that I had stepped down in my previous company, embarrassed, I guess I should say. Um, so that was very intriguing. And, um, and the trips, that was a big one for me. <laughs> that was big for you. Yeah. Because all of the um, money that I make personally, Um, Thankfully, my husband has a really great job and he provides um, for our family, but all of the money that I make has always been our extras like vacations and things like that. And the last year, all of my income had been going towards our daughter's dream of having a YouTube channel, a baking channel. And um, I had no idea what that cost (laughs) going into it. Um, But right now that's a hundred percent of my park lane income is going into Charlie Ann's business. And had I stuck with the other company, I would not have this extra income to be able to do that. And we would not have been able to do any of what we've done in the last few months with that. So it's really cool to be able to say, you know, Charlie Ann's chasing her dreams, but I get to chase my dreams and provide for her to be able to do that. So that's been really fun you know, to watch it all unfold. And, and when I started Park Lane, I said, you know, if I make a couple of hundred bucks a month, great. If I don't great. And then I realized, okay, two, three, four thousand $4,000 a month can come in from this just doing what I'm doing on Facebook. So I've upped my game. <laughs> and Sarah Catherine, did our direct to point program intrigue you? The fact that you could come in at a higher level and commission rate, was that helpful in making your decision? It was a little bit. We, Christy and I talked about this this weekend, actually, but it was very, com- that part was confusing for me because it was Greek. I didn't know what an area leader, a division leader, a senior, div- I didn't know any of that. And I didn't understand that it was invisible people that were on your team when they brought you in at different, you know, levels. So probably in making my decision, it didn't impact that at all because I didn't know any different. Okay. And, and, um, what do you love most so far about Park Lane? No inventory. (laughs) Can I get an amen? Regina's over there. The other side of my office, it's a whole store. Like, Hello, I just have all my displays over here. Hallelujah. Well, Sarah Catherine, thank you so much um, for sharing. I love your story. And I love how you have worked these both in together because so many people fear that if they are intrigued at Park Lane, they have to make a choice. And you don't. Park Lane doesn't care. So thank you for sharing. Tish, any questions? 
No, I just, it's been so beautiful watching um, your journey, Sarah Catherine. And I, I mean, there's going to be a day where Charlie Ann has the show. It's the show. It's not going to be a YouTube channel. It's going to be like a design or a, the baking. She's going to be on the baking channel. So <laughs> we're going to be able to say, remember the, the, the show that Park Lane built, the baking show that Park Lane built. So it's just beautiful. Huge congrats. Thank you. Okay, so next up, we've got um, director Stephanie Haxel. Stephanie um, lives in Norman, Oklahoma, and is did come to Park Lane with our direct to point program. So Stephanie, I'm excited to introduce you. Um, can you say hi so you pop up? <laughs> hi. Hey, there you are. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, so Stephanie, share with us a little bit about your previous industry experience. Well, um, Regina, when you were talking about all the different things you had done, I was like, let me just write down all the ones that I have done. So I got my little post-it note out and there are eight that um, I tr tried. Um, and actually I am still with um, a company that I have a leadership role in that I came in through the direct point, which is the health and wellness as well, Regina. And I too like tacos. Um, and I inject botulism in my forehead too, even though it's health and wellness, but girls got to take care. I mean, look, it's good. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Um, so I loved everything that you just said, Sarah Catherine, like how you don't lose your position. Um, because in, in my other company that I'm with, um, they also have a Mercedes program. And if you don't keep hitting your numbers, you lose that. Like at Park Lane, it's just mind blowing to me. Like, well, if I if I don't hit it one month, they don't kick me out. Like mm -hmm. I don't have to go and re earn it again. It, it's insane. Um, but yeah, so I was with multiple companies um, for years and years and years. I love direct selling. I love the aspect that you can own your own business and work as hard as you want or as little as you want to earn the income but I've never had the success that I've had with Park Lane. And I think some of the reasons for that are one, jewelry's easy. Um, I mean, Christy says it all the time. It's either cute or it's not. So you don't buy it or you do buy it. Um, it's super easy. It's not a hard sell. You're not trying to like show ingredients that people are using or prove that your makeup works better than somebody else's makeup or you know the pill that you're selling is okay to take um it's, i mean it's easy it's jewelry you, you know and if you don't like it it's not going to hurt my feelings either um our price points are amazing um if somebody wants to get just a 20 dollars pair of earrings to help their friend out and they're on a tight budget then get that 20 dollars pair of earrings and it counts for an order on that hostess's show mm -hmm. um that they want to spend two thousand dollars i'm okay with that too but, you know, and, and we don't want them to do 2001 order. We'll break up those orders so that the hostess gets more orders. Um, and then all of the programs that they have, there is always some type of incentive, um, no matter what level you are on, to earn a free piece of jewelry. Um, like the unicorn bracelet right now, like the safari bracelet that some of us earned um, last time. There's all these little um, uh, things. Spirits. Mm -hmm. Yes, little carrots that we can earn that I think just make you feel special. And I'm going to share this because I know there's somebody else out there that feels this way too. Um, I know Sarah Catherine, her big why is Charlie Ann and her, and her baking business. Well, I like the trips, guys. Mm -hmm. I like the cars. And I like the money. I like the cash that's going into my pocket. So that's what motivates me. And it was so much... I don't want to say easier because it's not easy. I mean, you have to be consistent and do your work. Um, it just was easier to get it done, I guess, and to close the sale and um, and to share with others. So, I don't Stephanie, one of the things I love about your story is how you got introduced to Park Lane and kind of how you said no several times. Do you mind sharing? Sure. Um, okay. So, if you guys want to know how to run your business. Um, ask him credit. Uh, so my best friend lives in the same town as Tish, Christy, and Allie. 
and I am Kim. Uh, and so she would not hold any kind of parties for me on, online, but Kim, I guess, had some magic and uh, Whitney held a party and I reluctantly got on the Facebook Live party last April um, and I was going to show her. I wasn't going to order a thing. But I was going to show up. Well, and it also gave an excuse to drink wine. Um, so um, I ended up liking the jewelry. <laughs> I mean, imagine that, you guys. Um, so Kim did her job. I checked out. Um, she sent me my card and she said, would you like to host a show? Well, oh, okay, sure, I would. I was like, this girl's good. She knows what she's doing. You know, because i have been with seven other uh, uh, companies. So my party closes. Kim says, hey, you know, I think you would be really good at this. Would you ever consider it? And we joked about it now, but the thing I said as well, if it'll help you out, I will do it. And you know what she said, you guys? She said, no, that's okay. <laughs> she she wanted me to do it because I wanted to do it, not just to help her out. And like, how big of a person is that? Like, she has so much integrity, you guys. She is a great sponsor. Um, and she's so good at what she does. Like, she does direct selling 101 by the book like a champ. And she's built an amazing team. Um, but here's the thing. So I said no. Well, then she did what she was supposed to do. She asked all the other people that were at my party if they wanted to host. Well, four of those people hosted. I had never had four people host from one of my shows. So I joined, you know, because I was a good hostess. They bought from mine. I'm going to go buy from theirs. And people were buying and buying and buying and buying. And I was like, oh, there, there goes my money. <laughs> And then there goes some more and some more. And then I was just like, I was, I was in the middle of a show and I text Kim while she's doing her thing. Or maybe it was like right after. And I was like, I might want to consider this. So you decided so, because you were seeing the success, because you were seeing the, um, the friends love it and so forth. You're like, okay, I'm missing out. Yes. Okay. So Stephanie, what, I mean, you've kind of shared, but you know, to wrap it up, what what's been your success so far at Park Lane? You joined as an area leader, correct? A branch. Okay, I came in as a branch, branch um, and then um, quickly went to area leader. Uh, I earned the Mercedes um, very quickly. I earned a trip. I mean, I still am telling my husband, like, what is going on here? Don't tell anybody this is good because I don't want, I don't want them to like change something. <laughs> it's incredible. And I had, so, you know, all the other seven things I had done, I'd never earned a trip. Um, I hadn't even really come close in the other company that I'm with. I earned a free bag, but I didn't earn a trip. I, no car, um, I mean, it was incredible. And I'm right now I am at division and I'm 62% to Key West. So I'm super That's excited. Nice. We are so excited. Thank you so much for sharing. It's such a great story. Um, again, of somebody with another company tried, had, you know, had success, loved the industry, but never experienced the success that you've had at Park Lane. So thank you so much. So great. Um, okay, and last, you guys, and definitely not least, I am so excited to introduce all of you to one of our newest senior division leaders, Jennifer Cunningham. Jennifer, way there. She is, um, she actually came from another jewelry company that closed recently and lives in Arkansas. Um, so, Jennifer, say hello. So, you pop up. <laughs> hey, girls. Hello. Hello. Um, Jennifer, I would love for you to share with everybody, how did you find out about Park Lane? Well, when um, I was with my previous company, they announced December the 1st that as of December the 31st, we were no longer going to be in business. And so I had heard that some former jewelers with the same company that I was with had gone ahead and come aboard with Park Lane. And um, I had heard about Park Lane through the years, but never had seen it in person, um, had never uh, met anybody that was a stylist with them. And so that is how I heard about it. I just heard that, you know, some 
former work co-workers with me had come into Park Lane. So what, what made you decide to kind of pursue that? Well, I just, I knew I needed to do something for extra income because extra income was why I was, why I was working. Um, and I just got on the website, Park Lane's website, and I really just did my research. I mean, I looked at that website over from top to bottom and a lot of what I read seemed too good to be true. Like I saw the two, four special and I was like, is that like for real? Does that really work? Is that really an everyday thing? Um, you know, the $90 uh, spend 90, get the, the special zinger. That was just all foreign to me, but I really liked what I was finding when I was doing my research. Okay. So when we finally connected and um, we talked about our direct to point program, how did that affect your decision? What, what did you think about it? Well, I thought it sounded really good in theory, right? But I'm not really a detailed person. So you were telling me, you know, all the things and I was like, yeah, that sounds good. And, you know, I was with this other company for 22 years and that'd be great if, you know, Park Lane recognizes that. But at the end of the day, I love jewelry. Everything that y'all had to offer sound great. Um, so that was part of my decision. But I'll tell you, the direct to point program for me um, has become ever more important on the back end of it. Now that I understand how it works, now that it makes sense, it's huge. It is huge that in this industry that your years of experience and your former team matters, like it's honored, it's recognized. It's not that I worked for 22 years and that was swept under the rug. I just, I love this. So Jennifer, I didn't prepare you for this, but I remember, <laughs> put you on the spot with all the people. I remember when I asked you what you needed to make, like you were like, you know, if we're going to start, because she had said, now, Christy, I'm also interviewing for this job that I might need to take a couple days a week, you know, because again, the company that she had been with for 22 years had closed. So she's having to set place, you know, things in place. And I said, you know, do you mind sharing with me what, what, you know, exactly what you would need to make? Okay, I'm going to preface that by, by then saying, I would love for you to share in your three months a little bit about your success. Right. Well, I and I don't mind throwing this out there, like my bottom dollar that I needed every month was $400. Okay. So it's not like I wasn't looking for $4,000 a month. And I just thought, well, if that happens with Park Lane, okay, great. But if it doesn't, as long as I'm making $400, I don't need to take this other job Um you know, that would be two days a week out of the home. Um, and so I have been absolutely blown away in the three months that I've been here. Like, had I taken that other job and tried to do Park Lane on the side, I would have had to have quit because with everything that I've been able to offer customers um, and hostesses, it has just blown up. Like I have experienced success through Park Lane that I never experienced in 22 years with my other company. And I mean, no disrespect to them, but the potential really is here. Um, you know, y'all give us the train tracks to run on. I think I told you that from the beginning. I was very worried about coming in um, and just having to figure out the, the um, technology part of it and how to have a successful fa Facebook party. Y'all give that all to us on a silver platter. And as long as you can follow directions, if you'll do the work, you'll be successful. It's amazing. And that's one of the things that I remember you sharing with me is at your previous company, many of you had tried to do the online platform and it, you just hadn't had success with it. So you're like, I don't understand how y'all are having success with it. And in Jennifer's first party, I remember, you know, you earning, I don't even like a thousand dollars in your first party or more. And she was like, oh, okay, <laughs> I think we can do this. So um, what has impressed you most? Let's just kind of close with that. What's impressed you most? Well, obviously the money. I mean, and that is why I started doing it, but I did not expect to be as successful as I've been. So praise the Lord for that. So the money has been extremely um, impressful. Um, and not only for me, but for my husband. And this was a big deal because he said to me a couple of weeks ago, he said, and not that we have ever hurt, you know, really for money. It's just the money for my job is the extra it bridges the gap. It's the fun stuff, but we have older children and helping them buy vehicles. We're looking at college. He just looked at me the other day and he said, you know, I just finally feel like I can breathe a little easier with the income that you're bringing in. 
So that has been um, huge. Also, just the fact that, you know, whatever level you achieve in Park Lane, it's not going to be taken from you. And that was something that I experienced in my previous company. I dropped three or four leadership levels. And y'all, if you've never experienced that, it's hard. Like it's humbling, it's embarrassing, it's humiliating. Um, and I just love the fact that that's not going to be taken, not with Park Lane. Jennifer, thank you so much. Nothing makes me happier than seeing, you know, remembering your original goal and seeing you now. And I'm just like, oh, I'm so glad you took the leap of faith. And I'm so glad me that too. all of you took the leap of faith and um, and jumped in with us. Tish, do you want to um, close up any thoughts? Yes. Yeah, so my, um, my peanut gallery response on Jennifer is, Jennifer, um, not only have you well surpassed $400 a month, you, I think you've well surpassed $400 a week. And I just, and I, I, I know you're blown away by how quickly you've grown, but it just really is a testament to how simple the programs are here and how simple the business can be here. If you, um, if you follow, I love your terminology. If you follow the train tracks, we, we really do work to provide you everything you need so that you're not spinning your wheels and wasting time, you know, creating scripts and creating images and things that are just a time suck. You know, we recognize that people need to be able to do this quickly and efficiently. And I'm just, uh, it makes me so happy for you. So uh, you. I'm glad, I'm glad you didn't hang up your pearls and go take that part-time job. I'm just going to say that. Me too. <laughs> me too. And, and Stephanie, I just have to add, I appreciate your candor in saying, and like, well, I, I think if you can't laugh, you know, at yourself with things, the fact that you, this is number eight, like I'm going to call like eight is your lucky number girl, because you are a perfect example of someone who has all the talent. Like, I mean, any PTA would be lucky to have you as their president, you know, any company <laughs> is lucky to have you, you know, leading, um, you know, a, a department. And um, if you didn't have success with previous ventures, it wasn't because of your lack of talent or lack of desire or lack of willing to try things. And that is why I do think Park Lane is just so special and why, you know, we attract the best talent and why people are every week coming in here and joining and, and many have very similar stories to what you guys are, are talking about because who hasn't tried? I mean, I forgot actually that literally like in my early twenties, I um, tr worked with a supplement company for a hot minute. Like I literally, I think it was such a painful experience. I like banned it from my head, but I remember trying to do the things that they said, this is what you do to have success. And I just remember it feeling really hard. And um, I just love that we have a really beautiful thing that people can, can do simply and quickly and, um, and have the success they're looking for. So thank you girls, all of you. And thank you, Christy, for all the questions. Incredible, incredible, incredible. And I see people have asked, I'm going to pop this recording onto YouTube so you guys have it. I encourage you to share with anyone that you think these stories might resonate with. And, um, and that's basically it, yeah. Yes. One of the things I really wanted um, everybody on our tribe to gain from this is that um, we, you know, uh, we meet people all the time that have experience, that have had jaded experiences, that are, um, I mean, every story here is so different. And that was really the goal to get you to hear a lot of the different stories, to then give you confidence in talking to people that do have experience that may say no initially like Stephanie, or may be your dream team person like Sarah Catherine and I was nervous and you know, kind of, I was literally watching like, what's God telling me? She's walking out with all this jewelry, you know, and whatever it is, but don't, don't um, take those, the, you know, the, their history as what, and don't let them take their history um, to be the predictor of their future. Um, so to just to walk through those, you know, um, obstacles and help them overcome them and give them all the courage to try by hearing all these ladies stories. That's what I was hoping for. All right, my friends. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Christy. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Have a great Monday, a great week. I will share this recording as soon as we have it available. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. <laughs>